Mopeng adlaw sa iyong atanan. Welcome to my channel. Our topic for today: distance between two points. So, what is distance between two points? The distance between two any points, or the length of the line segment connecting the two points, can be determined from the coordinates of the points. Again, it is the distance between any two points or the length of the line segment connecting the two points which can be determined from the coordinates of the points to illustrate we have distance between two points with equal coordinates so consider the two given points m sub 1 and x sub 1 y sub 1 and point m sub 2 x sub 2 y sub 2 okay they have the same ordinates so they are located in the same horizontal line to illustrate if we have a cartesian plane we have y axis x axis y prime and x prime so if we have a certain point they are located in the same horizontal line for example we have an horizontal line with a point a and a given m sub 1 and m sub 2 so we have m sub 1 point m sub 1 and point m sub 2 so the distance between two points m sub 1 and m sub 2 d okay so the segment a m sub 1 bar plus point m and point 2 m 2 bar is equal to your point a m 2 bar okay so to determine our distance so segment m1 and m2 is equal to a segment a m2 minus a m1 or simply d is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so the, the rule, the length of the horizontal line segment between two points with equal coordinate is equal to the abscessa, abscessa of point at the right side minus the abscessa at the left side. So abscessa at the right side x sub 2 minus abscessa at the left side x sub 1. So that is your distance between m sub 1 and m sub 2 so to illustrate for example we have a problem find the distance between the points a and b okay so our first procedure is of course we need to um, plot and illustrate the given points for example we have this cartesian plane so we need to plot the given point. We have y, x, y prime, and x prime. So first point is a. First point is a. So negative 1. Negative 1 and 2. 1, 2. So we have point a. So in point b, we have 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2. So that is your point B. Okay. Again, so our D or our distance between point A and B is equal to 
the abscessa from your right minus the your abscessa from your left so that is sure from your right and from your left so we have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 okay class so this is your x sub 1 y sub 1 y sub 1 y sub 2 x sub 2 sorry so this is your x sub 2 and this is your y sub 2 okay so going back so applying our given abscessa so we have 5 minus negative 1 so finally so positive this one should be negative so that would be 6 so the distance between a and b is 6 Okay, so let's proceed to our next illustration, distance between two points. So for next illustration, we have the distance between two points with equal abscissas. Okay, let's now consider two given points. We have n sub 1 with the given abscess x sub 1 and ordinate of y sub 1 and n sub 2 point n sub 2 with x sub 2 and y sub 2 so they are having at the same abscissa and they are lying on the same vertical line so if we have a, our Cartesian plane So y x x prime y prime. So they are lying on the same vertical line. For example, this is our vertical line with the given points. So these are point B and these are point n sub 1 and we have point n sub 2 again. Our D is the distance between two points, N1 and N2. So we need to determine the distance. So based on the point that are lying on the same vertical line, so we have from point B going to N sub 1 bar plus N sub 1 and N sub 2 bar is equal to your B N sub 2 line segment okay so therefore our distance between the line segment point N sub 1 and N sub 2 so the line segment N sub 1 and N sub 2 is equal to your point B N sub 2 minus B N sub 1 Okay. or simply your distance is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 okay again the rule here the length of the vertical line segment between two points with equal abscissa is the ordinate of the upper point which is our n2 minus our ordinate and lower point n1 or our y sub 1 and y sub 2 okay to illustrate the distance between two points with equal abscissa let's have an example so for example we need to find the distance between point a and b so with given coordinates so our first step is of course we need to plot the given points muna We have y, x, y prime, x prime. So for point A, we have 2, 1, 2, and negative 
1. So this is our point A with a given coordinate of 2 and negative 1. And for our point B, we have 2 and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So for our point B, so this is our B. With the given point of 2 and 4. Okay. So they are lying on the same vertical line. So these are vertical line. Again, based on the rule in our previous slide, so the length of vertical line segment between two points with equal abscissa is the ordinate of the upper point minus the ordinate at the lower point. So this is our upper point B and our lower point A. So the distance between point A and B so our distance is equal to your y sub 2 minus y sub 1. These are x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Substituting the values, we have 4 minus negative 1. So we have an answer of 5. So 5 is the distance between point A and your point B. So I hope it's clear. Distance between two points A. So let's proceed to our next slide. So in this slide, we're going to determine the distance between two points with equal Ordinates and abscissa. In our previous two slide, in our previous two slide, we discuss about the distance between two points with equal ordinates and equal abscissa. In this example, now distance between two points with unequal ordinate abscissa. So unequal na, unequal ordinate abscissa. So to illustrate, we have given point. We have point 1, x sub 1, and y sub 1. And point 2, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So they have unequal ordinate and abscissas. To illustrate, okay, so let's draw this axillary line. So for example, we have a Cartesian plane. For example, since they are unequal coordinate, so for example, these are point A and these are point number 2, point sub 1. Okay. So the distance between point A and point 2, we have D. So with x sub 1 and y sub 1, ito naman, x sub 2 and y sub 2. We need to determine the distance between point p sub 1 and p sub 2. So as you can recall, we discussed about the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, So we can determine the distance using Pythagorean theorem also. If for example, if this is a right triangle, so we have a Q. Okay. 
So if we're going to determine the distance between point P sub 1 going to Q, therefore, this is X sub 2 minus X sub 1. And dito naman sa dalawa, we can determine this as Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 based on our previous topic discussed. So to recall the formula, we just combine the two in Pythagorean theorem, in a Pythagorean form. So to determine the distance between P sub 1 and P sub 2, Aligning to our Pythagorean theorem, we have our d squared is equal to your x, which is our x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus your abscissa y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So rewriting the formula. Our distance is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, so the square of the difference of two number is unchanged. So when the order of subtraction is, is reversed. So, to understand the distance between two points with unequal coordinates and abscessa, let's have an example. So for example, we need to find the distance between point A and B. So our first step, of course, is we need to um, plot the given point. So first point A. We have 1 and 2. So that is your point A. And for your point B, you have 7 and 4. Seven and four. So we have seven and four and one and two so these are point b so we have point a and point b so find the distance between point a and b so let's connect these two points so problem is we need to determine the distance between a and b okay going back to our formula so we have a with x sub 1 and y sub 1 we have y sub x sub 2 that is x x sub 2 and y sub 2 so going back to our formula so distance formula between two points with unequal abscissa and ordinates is d is equal to square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So substitute the values x sub 2 7 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 2 squared we have so square root 6 that is 36 plus 2 square root 4 4 so that is square root of 40 so reduce to this term so that is x so 40 times 10 so square root of here 4 that would be 2 square root of 10 so the distance between a and b is 2 is square root of 10 okay i hope that distance between two points is clear by now so 
Please do answer your exercise number two and submit your answer and solution in your model account. So that's it for today. Thank you everyone and have a nice day.